we're back with you in Phoenix. Apologies, we had some technical issues at the end of that first half that kicked us off. But we have resumed play and want to reset the scores. Halftime score is Manicor's 7, King Cobra's 5 as we begin the second half here. Gotta love it when computers just shut down programs in the middle of what, what you're doing. So Purcell with the shot cross court blocked out of bounds by Wellborn. First throw of the second half. Wellborn spins down the court blocked by Purcell. He's gonna hand it off to Daryl Walker on the left wing. Walker spins straight down, blocked by Maine. Jordan Maine backs up, finds the right post. Straight down the line, blocked by Walker. Walker sets up from the left wing. Spins right down, blocked by Maine. He finds it near the high ball line, throws it back to the center and Zach Bueller. Bueller looking for the gap and he's got it right through the the center and right wing gap and that makes the score eight to five for the Manicores. That ball block goes over and to the King Cobras they'll have another shot at it here. Walker straight down the court, swept out of bounds by Jordan Main. And timeout to repair a, a line with a little more tape. Once again, apologies for the technical issues in the first half. Got kicked off the program here, got, got us back on time. Halftime score was seven to five in favor of the Manicores, and Zach Bueller has added one more goal to that total. So we're at eight to five here with 8.47 to go. Josh Wellborn now with it, spinning, throwing straight down underneath Rozier. Josh Wellborn has given the Manicores a four goal cushion here. So plenty of time left, but the Cobras need the reply here. Stem the tide. As Walker looks to answer in the gap, kicked back over half court by Bueller. And Cobras will have another shot here. Walker will take it again from the right post. Going line now. Straight down, blocked by Wellborn. Wellborn kicked, blocked out by Walker. Walker out of bounds. Wellborn hands it to Bueller. Bueller in the middle of the net. Bounce ball down, blocked out of bounds by Rozier. Bounce ball by Rozier, that's gonna be stopped by Bueller. He'll give it off to Jordan Main on the right wing. Under eight minutes to go now. Main straight down the right side, blocked by Rozier. Antonio Rozier throws it back down the middle, blocked by Bueller. Dumps it over to the left wing and Zach or Josh Wellborn with it. Spins straight down, blocked out of bounds by Daryl Walker. Daryl Walker now from the right side, straight down the middle, gets a piece of Bueller. He'll 
throw it down the side, popped into the air off a of walker, and it's going to go in. Zach Bueller <laughs> throws it down. Walker made the block, but it went straight up in the air and landed behind him and went into the net. Cross court shot. Jordan Main knocks it out of bounds. Seven ten remains here in the second half. It's gonna be Josh Wellborn from the right post. Cross court underneath Daryl Walker. And this one's getting out of hand. The Manicor's six goal lead here. And that'll force Coach Jake Chikowski to call timeout for the Cobras as they've given up four straight goals here in the second half. And a, what was a two goal game at halftime is now a six goal deficit for the Cobras. Wellborn and Bueller. Scoring the goals here in the second half for the Manicores in this gold medal match. And stick around. We have two more games to close out this tournament, both in the women's division, the bronze medal game next between Texas and Ohio, followed by the women's gold medal game between the Maryland Minx and Code Blue. And then we'll bring you the uh, award ceremony as well, hopefully. Here we go. Rozier from the right wing, straight down. Stopped by the feet of Josh Wellborn. Cobras have switched Walker and Rozier. Rozier on the right wing now, Walker on the left. Bounce ball down the line by Rozier, out of bounds. Ball's dropped in. Wellborn hands it to Bueller. Bueller spins, throws down to the left side. That's blocked by Rozier. He finally corrals it, gives it back to Nathan Purcell at center. Purcell down the right side, blocked by Wellborn. He'll stand up. Manicor is using all the clock now. No quick throws. Wellborn cross court. Blocked by Purcell, backed up by Walker. Daryl Walker has it now on the left wing. Straight down, blocked by Jordan Main. Main, cross court shot, pops off of Rozier, but over the crossbar. Almost another goal there, but made the save. Cobras need a goal quick here. We're under six minutes to play. Purcell, bounce ball down, blocked by Wellborn, out of bounds. Wellborn taking it, left wing, straight down the line, but wide. And now Darrell Walker. Goes over to the left wing. Looking for the gap. Jordan Main closes it. Zach Bueller now with it. Bounce ball popped in the air by Walker, but out of bounds. out of bounds. It's going to be Daryl Walker with it now. And we got a timeout on the court with 5.03 to go.
And substitution for the King Cobras, Richard Asu will come in replacing Daryl Walker. Shot for Jordan Main, blocked by Purcell. Looks like Richard Asu from the left wing, cross court, blocked by Bueller. Josh Wellborn now from the left side. Towards the middle, blocked out by Purcell. Rozier from the right wing, blocked by Maine. Jordan Maine now cross court, kicked out of bounds by Rozier, but it's going to go over to the Manicores. Zach Bueller with it now. Bounce ball towards the post. Pushed out by Rozier. Rozier now kicked out by Bueller. Josh Wellborn taking his time as the clock kick clicks down to four minutes and Wellborn scores. And it's now 12 to 5. Richard Asu looking to answer, but Jordan Main takes it. Quickly back. Kicked out of bounds by Purcell. Richard Asu for the Cobras from the left wing. Spins, throws, looking for the gap. Pops up over Maine. But he, he scoots back to keep it out of the net. Wellborn shot down, blocked out by Purcell. There's a shot by Rozier, stopped by Bueller. Bueller now, straight down, Rozier and Purcell combined to make that stop. Nathan Purcell, bounce ball. Ooh, late reaction by Bueller, but he hit his chest and went out of bounds wide of the post. Gonna be Jordan Main to take it, going down the line, but wide. Richard Asu from the left post sets up out of bounds to begin his run. Bounce ball cross court. Josh Wellborn there. Under three minutes to go now. Manicor is comfortably in the lead, 12 to 5, as that one's popped in the air by Rozier, gathered by Purcell. Nathan Purcell now, bounce ball blocked up off out of bounds off a of Wellborn. Play resumes, Wellborn from the left wing, cross court, stopped by the feet of Asu. Asu down, blocked by Bueller. Bueller down the line, 
Long ball called on Bueller. So 2-10 to go. Chance for the Cobras to get one back here. They have yet to score in the second half. And it's going to be Asu. Oh, but he's called for the high ball on the penalty throw. So bad luck there. As they had a chance to get one, but now they got to defend one. And Richard Asu will be the defender. He's out at the high ball line. And it's going to be Zach Bueller to take it. And he gets it by him, Zach Bueller. Gets it by Asu on the penalty throw and it's 13 to five. And the Manicor is well on their way to the gold medal here in Phoenix. With just two minutes to play. Nathan Purcell winds up. His shot goes out of bounds at mid court. That one looked like it slipped off his hand. And now we got Josh Wellborn on the left wing. Down the, looking for the gap shot, but the hands of Purcell were there to stop it as he stretched out. Purcell now looking for the gap the other way, kicked out of bounds by Bueller. Play resumes. Jordan Main from the right wing down the line, just wide. Substitution timeout for the King Cobras. And Nathan Purcell will check out. Dylan Pleasance checks in for the Cobras with a minute 37 on the clock in this gold medal match. Zooms, Richard Asu, cross court. Zach Bueller returns it down the court, blocked by Pleasance. Rozier's shot, blocked by Maine. Main shot, pushed out of bounds by Rozier. One minute to go. Rozier blocked by Wellborn. Wellborn takes his time on the left wing. Bounce ball down, blocked by Rozier. Trickles over to Pleasance at center. Pleasance now down the court. Blocked by Jordan Main. Main straight down. That one's blocked by Richard Asu. 30 seconds to go. Asu cross court. Stopped by the feet of Bueller. Bueller spins. Blocked by. Rozier, return throw, and that should do it. Manicors can just hold on to the ball now. But Wellborn's gonna throw one more, but the horn will sound. And congratulations to our gold medalists, the Manicors, with a 13 to five win over King Cobras, who will take the silver. And we'll be back with the women's bronze medal match right after this.
And welcome back here to Phoenix, Arizona and the Southeast Regional Goalball Tournament. Our final two games of the day coming up, starting with the women's bronze medal match between Texas and Ohio. Texas will start with Macy Gonzalez on the right wing, Libby Doherty at center, and Miriam Larson on left wing. Ohio will counter with Mary By Huking and Mindy Cook, Tokyo Paralympic teammates, and Yachi Schumacher will play most looks like she'll start at the right wing. And Coach Linda Wellborn is giving the final instructions here. Ohio will be closest to the camera in the green and gold, and Texas on the far end in the red jerseys. And it looks like Texas will start with the ball on the far end. As the ball goes to the center, Libby Doherty. And right off the whistle, Doherty looking for the gap shot. Schumacher there to stop it. She'll return the throw down. Blocked by the hands of Doherty. Almost got through the gap. Gonzalez backing up there. Macy Gonzalez now. Throwing it down, stopped by the legs of Cook, and that will trickle. She'll get it before it goes out of bounds. Throw it back to teammate Mary by Huking on the left wing. Throwing it straight down the line. Pushed out of bounds by Macy Gonzalez. We're underway with the women's bronze medal match here in Phoenix. Thanks for joining us all weekend as this one is rolled down by Larson. Stopped by Cook, who's playing center for Ohio. Cook throws it down to the center. Doherty, Doherty back to Cook. Centers are playing catch now, and Cook will hand it off to Huking on the left wing. Spinning, throwing bounce ball. And Gonzalez there to stop it. It's going to roll out of bounds. Play resumes, Macy Gonzalez. Cross court shot, kicked out of bounds by Schumacher. Schumacher with it. She's gonna go cross court from right wing. Stopped by Gonzalez. Macy Gonzalez with it now. Throwing it middle. Cook with a diving stop. Mindy Cook has it now, backs up, rolls it down. That's a high ball though, kind of got stuck on her hand as she went to throw it. And chance to open the scoring here for Texas as Libby Doherty will take the throw against Mindy Cook. Doherty, oh, she throws it well out of bounds. That one out of bounds just past the midcourt line. So not even close on that penalty throw, and we remain scoreless. Off the whistle, Mary by Huking, she goes wide as well. So two throws in a row that have gone well out of bounds, one for each team. And it's gonna be Macy Gonzalez from the right wing. Straight down, Huking there to make the save. Backs up. Spinning, bounce ball, gets by Doherty, but Larson backing up nicely on the left wing. She'll roll it back down, blocked by Mindy, or blocked by Huking now over at center for Ohio. Scoreless through the first two minutes. Schumacher now, cross court, blocked by Doherty at center. 
Doherty now with it, throwing it down, Huking with the save. Turn throw by Cook. And Larson with it for Texas. Ooh, pops up and over Schumacher, Miriam Larson. Scores for Texas. As they'll go out in front, one nothing. Huking for Ohio, down right wing, stopped by, oh, Gonzalez has trouble finding it, kicks it over half court. Ball dropped into Ohio. Huking hands it to Cook, Cook center of the net. Throws it down and, oh, off the post and out. Indy Cook almost tied it, heading for the right corner and Ticked off the post out of bounds. Ball's dropped into Miriam Larson on the left wing. Larson rolls it down the middle. Stopped by Cook. Cook's over playing center now. Ohio switched up their positions several times already. Huking down the middle. Blocked by the feet of Doherty. Libby Doherty corrals it past the high ball line. Throws it back to Larson on the left wing. Larson rolling it down, blocked by Cook. Cook returns it down the middle, blocked by Doherty. Quickly back and forth, Doherty blocked by Cook. She looks to get it before it goes over half court. She does, throws it back to Huking. Huking down the line, pushed out by Macy Gonzalez. Gonzalez cross court, blocked by Schumacher. Quick return throw, blocked by Doherty. Doherty throws it, blocked by Cook, hands it off to Huking. Harry by Huking, bounce ball down the right side, gets past the hands of Larson, but out of bounds. Stopped by Huking. Shot by Schumacher. Blocked by Doherty. Huking makes the save at center. Quick return throw. Blocked by Gonzalez. Saved by the feet of Huking. Rolled down by Schumacher, stopped by Larson. Larson's throw, stopped by Huking. Pats the ball, gives it to Cook. They've now switched positions. Cook at center, Huking goes to left wing. That one's pushed out of bounds by Gonzalez. Texas timeout, 4.42 to go in the first half. Texas leading 1-0 on a goal by Miriam Larson. Texas has held their position as far as placement on the floor. Um, Ohio switched it up with Huking and Cook swapping positions frequently. Teams have not played each other yet this tournament. And 
Play resumes. Doherty off the whistle. Blocked there by Ohio. Ohio returns the throw from Schumacher. Turn throw by Larson. Stopped by Cook. Mindy Cook with it now from the center. Left-hander throws it down. Blocked by Doherty. Libby Doherty now from center, straight down, blocked by Mindy Cook. Cook hands the ball off to Huking, and they're going to swap positions once again. Huking moving to center, spinning, throwing, but that's into the scoring table. She got a little confused on the spin, didn't throw it straight. And now Larson will take it for Texas. Rolls it down, blocked by Huking. Huking backs up to the net, moves over on the right side now, spins, bounce ball looking for the gap, blocked by Doherty. Doherty throws it back to Larson, and that one's going to be out of bounds. So ball over to Ohio. As they trail one to nothing. Ball dropped in, but Ohio doesn't see sure who's going to take it. Cook finally grabs it. Throws it straight down. Blocked by Larson. Libby Doherty will take this one from center. Straight, straight down the middle. Blocked by Huking. Mary by Huking. Spins. Bounce ball down. Blocked by Doherty. Hands it over to Larson. Larson straight down, Schumacher there to make the block. And timeout by Ohio at 2.59 on the clock. Tight match here for the bronze, one nothing lead for Texas on a goal by Miriam Larson. Coming up after this, the gold medal match between the Maryland Minx and Code Blue. We'll follow that with the awards ceremony. go here with Ohio with the ball looking for the equalizer. Mer Mindy Cook from the left wing is stopped by Macy Gonzalez. Gonzalez on the right wing. Cross court sh throw. Schumacher there to make the save trying to find it before it rolls half court. Schumacher will just throw it roll it back down to avoid the penalty. And that goes out of bounds. Now Miriam Larson from the left wing, throwing center, blocked by Mary by Huking. Bounce ball down, popped out of bounds by Miriam Larson. Larson from the left wing, rolling it straight down. Schumacher there to make the stop. Yachi Schumacher backs up, throws it from the right wing, cross court, and pushed out by Gonzalez. Gonzalez will hand it to Doherty. Doherty from the right wing, cross court, Schumacher with the save. Throws it towards middle, and Huking takes it. She's going to move over to the left wing. Straight down and pushed out once again by Gonzalez. Gonzalez with it now. Cross-court shot, stopped by the legs of Schumacher. She finds it, passes it back to Mindy Cook. Bounce ball by Cook, looking for the gap, diving over Libby Doherty with a nice stop. 
Doherty rolls it down, blocked by Cook. She finds it, passes it back to Huking on the left wing. Straight down, blocked by Gonzalez. We hit the one minute mark of the first half. Larson throws it down the court, blocked by Cook at center. Turn throw, stretching out to make the save with her hands is Libby Doherty. She'll now back up to the net. Come down looking for the gap on the right wing, blocked by Schumacher. Schumacher now, straight down, and it's stopped by Miriam Larson. 30 seconds to go as Larson backs up. She's the goal scorer so far in this 1-0 game. She'll roll it down the court. Huking, quick return throw, trying to catch Texas out of position, but they're right there. Libby Doherty with the save. Doherty's return throw down the middle, blocked by Cook. Time for one more throw here as Cook backs up. Bounce ball down, blocked by Gonzalez, and that should do it. And a tight defensive battle here in the first half of the women's bronze medal game as Texas will take a 1-0 lead into the break. On a goal by Miriam Larson, we'll be back with the second half action.
Welcome back for the second half of this women's bronze medal match. We got a good one going, Texas and Ohio duking it out. Texas with a one nothing lead. So obviously every throw is critical here. Every penalty, possible penalty is critical. Coming up after this match, the women's gold medal match between the Maryland Minx and Code Blue. Well, no, there is one substitution. Brittany Breen has come in at center for Texas. So Libby Doherty will slide over to the right wing. Breen replacing Macy Gonzalez. Ohio keeps their lineup and they'll start with the ball down by one. And it'll be Mary by Huking from the right post. Spinning bounce ball, middle, blocked by Brittany Breen. Breen backs up, throws it straight down the middle. That's blocked by Schumacher, pops in the air but keeps it in front of her. Schumacher moves over to center for Ohio. She played the right wing the entire first half. Coach Keith Young changing a few things up here, trying to get some offense. Shot by Doherty on the right wing, blocked by Cook. She'll move, she'll switch sides with Huking is Cook just missed the post down the right sideline. That had a chance to go in and tie the game, but it was just wide of the mark. Miriam Larson now from the left wing, throwing it straight down, blocked by Cook. Quick return throw, Larson there, keeps it in front of her. Now Larson will roll it straight down from her left wing position. Mindy Cook is there, pats the ball, hands it to Schumacher at center. Schumacher straight down, blocked by Breen. Breen will stand up, back up. And now throw it down and that one. Oh, we got a 10 second call. This is a big one. 10 second call on Texas. And Ohio, a chance to tie it here. And Brittany Breen will have to defend. She'll stand on the goal line in the middle right now. Ohio still trying to disguise who's going to take the throw. It will be Huking from the center position. Huking going for the post and just inside. She's got it and we're tied. Every penalty is crucial in this tight game, and that one ended up tying the match as Huking throws the penalty shot inside the left post. <whistles> Quick off the whistle, though. Doherty trying to respond, but Cook gets over, makes a late dive to keep that one out. Now Mindy Cook going down the line, out of bounds. Substitution for Texas as Brittany Breen will come out. Macy Gonzalez checks back in. Yeah. 
shot by Doherty down the middle, blocked by Schumacher. Gives it to Cook. Mindy Cook throws it cross court, out of bounds. Macy Gonzalez now from the right wing. Straight down, blocked by Huking. Quick return throw, out of bounds. It'll be Miriam Larson from the left wing, cross to the middle, blocked by Schumacher, hands it to Cook on the right wing. Mindy Cook, straight down, kick saved by Doherty, out of bounds. Miriam Larson now from the left wing, straight down the court, blocked by Cook. Cook hands it to Huking. Huking from the right wing, cross court, looking for the gap, diving stop by Doherty. It'll be Doherty now, straight down, kick save by H Schumacher, rolling towards midcourt. She finds it, throws it back to Cook, gonna have to get this one off quickly. She does, gets it back across half, stopped by Gonzalez, who's over on the right wing. Doherty's moved back to center. Gonzalez straight down, deflects off Schumacher, off Huking, but they keep it in front of him. Huking, spin throw, bounce ball, blocked by Doherty, and rolling out of bounds. Under seven minutes to go here in this bronze medal match. We're tied at one. Larson straight down, blocked by Cook. Cook goes cross court, but well wide of the mark. And now Gonzalez with it. Gonzalez down, popped in the air by Schumacher. She'll hand it off to Huking on the left wing. Spinning throw towards the gap, kicked out of bounds by Doherty, it'll go back over to Ohio. Now Mindy Cook moves from the right to the left to throw this one. Cross court shot, off the post and out. Great shot by Mindy Cook, had Larson beat to the post but off the post and out. Larson looking to respond, throws it straight down. That one's blocked by Schumacher. Yachi Schumacher now rolls it down the middle. Doherty's there. Quick return throw. Huking blocks it. Straight down, blocked by Gonzalez. Gonzalez down the court, blocked by Huking. Huking out of bounds, down the line. 5.46 to play, we're tied at one. It's gonna be Miriam Larson now, from the left wing. Oh, gets by the center Schumacher, but Huking is backing up. Huking will hand it to Cook as they switch wings. Cook over on the left now, cross court, off of Doherty, off of Larson. And timeout, Texas, 5.25 on the clock. We are tied at one in the women's bronze medal match.
And play resumes. Off the whistle, Libby Doherty gets it. She got Mindy Cook going the wrong way. Quick shot off the whistle for Libby Doherty. Mindy Cook kind of got out of position, went off her foot and trickled into the net. And it's two to one, Texas. Shot by Cook, blocked by Doherty. Return shot there, Schumacher gathers it in but has to just throw it out of bounds. Oh. It's gonna be called a high ball though. Schumacher corralled it near near mid court and threw it out of bounds past the high ball line. So chance for Texas to go up two here. Schumacher quick equipment check on her before she defends this penalty throw. And she'll, looks like Libby Doherty to take it for Texas. No, it's gonna be Larson. Larson, straight down the middle. And Schumacher makes the save. <laughs> Keeps it a one goal game. Yachi Schumacher with a big save there for Ohio. They trail two to one and under five minutes to play now. Huking from the left wing looking for the gap off the hands of Doherty ends up in the hands of Gonzalez on the right wing Macy Gonzalez looking for the gap shot Schumacher there hands it off to Huking Mary by Huking from the left wing moves towards center spins far out of bounds to the right now it's Larson from the left wing Straight down, blocked by Schumacher. Hands it off to Cook. Cook moves over to the left. Her shot goes out of bounds, right side. Libby Doherty now, straight down the middle. Blocked by Schumacher. Hands it off to the left wing. Mary by Huking, Huking down, looking for the gap. Libby Doherty there to close it. Four minutes to play for the bronze. Tight one here, two to one Texas. Ooh, that one almost got under Mindy Cook. The shot by Doherty. Cook made the save. She goes cross court. Gonzalez right there. Ohio's only goal came on a penalty throw. They have yet to get an even strength goal here. They haven't found a a chink in the armor of Texas yet. And timeout with 3.33 to go. Texas has played a great defensive game. Only given up the penalty throw by Huking. One more game after this. Code Blue takes on the Maryland Minx for the gold medal of the women's competition. And then we'll see you all in Vancouver, Washington for the Northwest Regional in two weeks' time. And we're ready to go. Mary by Huking looking for the equalizer. See what the strategy was. She throws it straight down from the left wing, blocked by Gonzalez. Once again, no holes in that Texas defense yet. Doherty throwing it down the middle, blocked by Schumacher. Schumacher down the middle, blocked by Doherty. Hands it off to Larson on the left wing. Larson rolls it to the middle. Schumacher will give it to Mindy Cook. She'll move over to the left. Throw it down the middle. Blocked by Doherty. Libby Doherty is going to try for the gap. Stopped by the feet of Schumacher. Gives it 
she'll just roll it back down the court and oh almost got the gap but Doherty reacted to stop it as we hit the two and a half minute mark and Larson goes cross court huking there to make the save Ohio looking for that tying goal here bounce ball by huking diving stop by Doherty Doherty return throw blocked by Schumacher hands it off to Huking. Huking on the left wing throws it down blocked by Doherty it's gonna travel out of bounds over the high ball line so back over to Ohio with two minutes to play get set for a tense two minutes here as we determine the bronze medal winner, Huking looking for the gap. It gets by, it's rolling just by the post. Great gap shot by Mary by Huking off the feet of Larson. It traveled all the way across the net and went wide of the post by maybe a foot. Uh, almost an equalizer there for Ohio, but we remain two to one and a timeout is called with a minute 49 to play. Huking will take it for Ohio now. Straight down, Larson with the save. Larson with it now. We hit the minute and a half mark to go. Cook moves over to the left. See, will she'll try looking for a gap shot, but Doherty there to make the save. Texas using up the clock now. And no rush to return the throws as Schumacher pops it up keeps it in front of her. Yachi Schumacher going towards the left post but wide. Minute six to play. Two to one game. Texas with the lead and the ball. Macy Gonzalez on the right wing. Throwing it down. Schumacher with the save. Gives it to Huking. Huking will get it back quickly. Looking for the post. Pushed out by Macy Gonzalez. She's made several big saves over on the right wing. Doherty gonna go quick off the whistle here. And substitution timeout for Ohio as Schumacher will check out. Sarah Cowan will check in. Keith Young using this timeout to stop the clock, talk a little strategy. 49 seconds to go. Young talking with Mindy Cook and Mary by Huking as Sarah Cowan is led onto the court. Going over precisely where they want to throw these last few shots. But as I said, no, so far no even strength goals given up by Texas. Only that penalty throw. Cook. No holes there either. Libby Doherty shutting it down the middle. Doherty back wide of the net. Ball dropped in with 33 seconds. It's gonna be Mary by Huking from the right wing. Spinning gap shot kicked out of bounds by Doherty. That was well placed by Huking. But once again Texas closes that door. 25 seconds to go. Larson straight down the court. Blocked by Mindy Cook, who's playing center now. Cook with the return throw. Doherty right there. 14 seconds to go. Ohio might have time for one more throw. As Doherty releases it with 10 seconds, but she scores, and that should do it. Libby Doherty with six seconds to play. Puts this one out of reach. 
three to one. by Huking, last shot of the game, blocked out of bounds by Corey, and that'll do it. Congratulations to Texas on winning the bronze medal with a three to one win over Ohio. And we'll be back with the women's gold medal match in just a bit.
It's officially good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Rice here. I'm going to be commentating this women's gold medal match. The Maryland Minx are on table right and Code Blue is on table left. Going over the rosters of these two squads. On Code Blue we have Megan Jensen, Aliyah Ferguson, Michael Clark, and Veronica Hyatt. And the buzzer is about to go off, so when it does, I will go over the Minx rosters. And as we get underway here, this is the final game of the tournament. So I think we are in a thriller. We have Brenna Pumphrey. Bridget Cassidy, Shannon Lockhart, Rebecca Lovesser, and Tori Down. And Michaela Luma. So on table left, Code Blue will be starting with the ball this game. Right, Looks like Code Blue will be starting with... Give me one second. Jensen, Hyatt, and Clark. Jensen with the first shot. Blocked. Lockhart throwing a bouncer to the center. Blocked by Jensen. Hyatt will have the ball here at her eight. Straight ball. Down the line. Out at about the wing line for the Minx. The Minx left wing spin throw will take it. Blocked by Jensen. Collected by her. She likes to keep it herself. Smooth ball from Jensen, hitting that 2-3 hole. Collected by Lockhart. Lockhart, bounce her. And that's going to be a goal on Code Blue. Jensen got her feet on it. Hyatt tried to dive for the save and just could not get it. First goal goes to the Minx. As Jensen will go with the spin throw here. Bounce shot. Blocked by the center of Maryland. And that's going to go out of bounds. We will identify these Minx players. The left wing goes with the spin throw down the line here. Blocked by Hyatt. Hyatt goes with the gap shot. Blocked. Collected by the center. Looks like that's going to be number four. Pumphrey. It's going to be blocked by Jensen. Goes back, lines up. Skipper from her is going to go for that nine hole. It's going to be blocked out of bounds. Looks like that left wing for Maryland is going to be number six, Cassidy. Looks like Lockhart has switched wings with Cassidy. Big bounce ball blocked by Jensen. Bounce pass to Hyatt. Hyatt's going to go down the line. Block. Oops. Blocked out of bounds by Lockhart. Both these teams have active defenses, so the wing switches are going to be common. It's going to keep me on my toes. This cross gap shot. Blocked by Jensen. Collected by her. Bounce pass to Hyatt. A little off on the pass, but correctable. Hyatt gap to gap shot. Blocked by Lockhart. Ball goes laterally collected by Cassidy. Quick placed game here, ladies and gentlemen, as Cassidy goes to the bounce ball herself. Jensen levitates high above it but clean up defense from Clark as Clark lets one go blocked by Lockhart she's going to take it herself from her three rolls into the four 
big bounce ball blocked by Hyatt. As the ball goes over Hyatt, that's after it. Low sounding ball couldn't quite get her hands on it. As Lockhart throws the ball, blocked. Combination block by Jensen and Hyatt. As Hyatt will take the ball, hits about the four or five region. Looks like Cassidy and Pumphrey switched. Looks like Pumphrey threw that ball. As Clark will throw. Blocked by Pumphrey. She elects to take the ball herself from this seven hole. Spin throw, high. It was a high ball, but no call. Coach Jake raising his arms up, protesting. As Lockhart gets the ball. Big Ben's bounce ball blocked by Jensen. She's going to bounce past it out of bounds. Looks like her and Clark weren't quite on the same page. However, Cassidy. Yeah. Cassidy and Lockhart switch wings. Lockhart throws it from the right. Jensen missed the block. Great cleanup defense from Clark. Clark's going to go with the gap-to-gap -gap shot, blocked by Lockhart. Gives it to Pumphrey. Spin throw from her, blocked by Jensen. Jensen, big ball from her. Center dove over it, however. Cassidy was there for the cleanup. Going to go with a bounce shot of her own. And she gets it right in between Clark and Jensen. And the Minks are going to score their second goal of the game. They're up 2-0 here in the women's gold medal match with 5.56 on the clock from the looks of things. Right now the Minks have the two lone goals of this game as Hyatt number 8 will take the ball. She's going to go with the 97 here. Excellent shot choice. Collected by Pumphrey. Spin throw from her. Sounded high, but I don't think it was. As Clark takes the ball, gonna go with the cross court shot blocked by Cassidy. Looks like Lockhart and Cassidy are switching wings again. Lockhart's going to have the ball. Bounce ball from her. Jensen once again. Just kind of tipping it with her feet. However, clean up defense from Clark. Didn't have time to throw the ball, so she elects to push it out. When you're kind of caught in space like that, it can usually be a wise decision to throw the ball. As Cassidy goes with her spin throw, rolls over Jensen, collected by Hyatt. Hyatt with the ball. Bounce ball from Hyatt. Don't see that very often from Veronica. Uh, we just saw it just barely out of bounds at about that wing line. Cassidy with the ball here. Smooth spin throw. like to see it. That's one of my favorite balls to throw. So Code Blue is calling their first substitution of the game. Looks like Michael Clark will be coming out. And Aaliyah Ferguson will be coming in. She'll be coming in at the left wing position. As the timeout's over here, the code blue meet in the back center, and Jensen's going to go with the bounce ball here. Hey, 
As the game resumes here, Ferguson has the ball. Ferguson with the smooth ball blocked by Pumphrey. Rolls it to Lockhart. Take a lot of time off the clock here. As Lockhart with the bounce ball blocked by Jensen. Jensen's going to take the ball here. Bouncer. Or correction. Skip ball. Looked like it was about to take off as Cassidy here. Bounce ball. Gets right over Ferguson and in. Minks are going to further their lead 3-0. to zero. As Code Blue calls their first timeout. 3-0 here on the clock with a little over four minutes on the clock here. If I'm Coach Jake, I'm like, hey, don't sweat it. Stay easy. And just defensively just be mindful of those of those bounce shots Maryland makes are showing a lot of variety in this game which is something Kudu hasn't seen too much of so to my best knowledge these two teams have not matched up yet so these are two fresh teams just going at each other and if I'm the Minx I want to keep my feet on the gas pedal and just keep pushing down As Ferguson on play throws a ball. Smooth ball, low to the ground. Blocked by Lockhart. Bounce ball. Blocked by Jensen. That's what's gotten her the last couple times. So she was able to defend that one. Let's see if the trend continues. Looks like Lockhart and Cassidy switched again. Lockhart thrown into that gap. Kicked laterally by Ferguson. Jensen, very mobile. Great backup defense from Ferguson as Hyatt has the ball. Takes from the seven. Jensen steps to the left. Excellent shot selection. I like the, the thought of a 79 here. It's going to go just out of bounds at the wing line. Cassidy here. Ooh, wow. What a smooth throw. That was glossy. Ferguson has the ball. Bounce ball, spin throw from her. Blocked by Pumphrey. She's going to take the ball from the center here. Blocked by Jensen. Stayed low to the ground. Smooth ball. Jensen gets a block from Lockhart. Lockhart lines up in the eight. Bounce ball down the line, just out of bounds to the team line. Hyatt rolls over to Ferguson's side. Hyatt's going to take it from Malia's side. Going to go kind of with a, a cutout shot, kind of like a similar to a 13. Quick pitch from Cassidy. Pops over Veronica, it's loose. Ferguson with the backup defense. Let's one go. Blocked by Pumphrey. Collected by Pumphrey in the middle. Sinner's going to take her time. Sneaky smooth throw from her. Blocked by Jensen. Handed off to Hyatt directly. Veronica with the spin throw. Goes for a 97 that time. Similar shot she made previous in the game with the spin throw. Smooth ball from that left wing. Cassidy. Jensen takes it from the right wing this time. Goes kind of for an 87. As we have a the Minx first time out of the half here with 156 on the clock. It's a 3-0 affair here with the Minx holding the lead over Code Blue. If I'm Coach Jake here, I want to get at least one in before halftime. There are shots open on the field, and the Code Blues are close to finding it. They are right there. I can I can feel it now. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, this is the women's gold medal game. The Maryland Minx on table right and Code Blue on table left. Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching. As we like to thank our tournament organizer, the Ability360 Fitness Center, and USABA, United States Association for Blind Athletes, 
for having this tournament here in Phoenix, Arizona. As play continues, Lockhart switches wings once again, goes to the left wing. Another loose ball from Jensen and Hyatt. Ferguson saves it. That's twice now that's happened. The off wing defense is really important. A little skip shot from what looks like to be Cassidy over in the right wing. As Coach Jay calls a timeout, <laughs> he's like, timeout. And pauses. He's like, please. And then the refs give it to him. Unfortunately, you guys cannot hear the court. However, some funny moments do slip and happen from time to time. Alright, Code Blue using two timeouts during this half. One substitution. Maryland just called one timeout and has had no substitutions. Lineups remain the same on both sides. As Jensen's going to bounce ball out of the three, hit the three, pops off a of Pumphrey, collected by her, rolls it to Lockhart. He's going to take it. It's low skip shot, blocked by Jensen, given the height. Hyatt's going to take the ball from about her eight. Going to go hit it 88. Blocked underneath the armpit of Lockhart. Bounce ball. Cross gap shot. Hit a 37. As the ball rolls over, Ferguson could not retrieve it. As Lockhart's going to go with the smooth ball here, out of bounds at about the team line. Ferguson takes the ball. Smooth ball. Ooh, nearly got past the center Pumphrey, but Lockhart was waiting. As we're counting down in the last 30 seconds of this first half. Code Blues down 3-0. Ferguson blocks the ball, collects it. Bounce pass to Jensen, who's going to quickly let it go. Very nice smooth ball pocked by Cassidy. Cassidy's going to take a go with her spin throw here. Very silky smooth. I couldn't I couldn't track it from up here. Which lets you know how hard it is for these players on the court. As Hyatt goes for 89. But Lockhart's ready to defend. Lockhart with the low skipper. Blocked by Jensen. As that is halftime, ladies and gentlemen. It's a 3-0 game here. Code blue down. We'll see what happens here in the next three minutes when play resumes. I'll be right back with you, ladies and gentlemen.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second half of this game. As we don't switch sides of the court anymore. Code blue is still on table left. And Maryland's on table right. So, Code Blue had a substitution. Veronica Hyatt is out, and Michael Clark is in for Code Blue. We will get away here momentarily. And the center for Maryland will take the ball. She passes it off to her left wing. Who's going to go with a line shot and get a goal? Clark bit into the gap too much and left the line wide open. So the Maryland Minx kept the same lineup in. However, they've switched places. Pumphrey's in the middle, Cassidy on the left, and Lockhart on the right. Score is 4-0 to zero now. 9.39 on the clock. Lockhart gets the ball from the right wing, goes to the gap shot. Beautiful kick from Jensen. It's going to go flying out of bounds towards the spectators. That's when you know that's a really good block. Ooh. Ferguson has the ball. This is going to throw it towards... Pop. Pop. Towards the Maryland center. He's going to give it to Cassidy. Block from Jensen. Out of bounds. Ferguson has the ball here. Bounce shot from her. It's going to go towards the gap. Combination defense from Cassidy and Pumphrey. Pumphrey will have the ball here. Spin throw from her. Blocked by Jensen. Goes up. Gives it to Ferguson, who's waiting on the team line. A little bit of a solar over there, but blocked by Pumphrey. The off pace ball is definitely an interesting concept to explore with 4 nothing. Good block from Jensen, who quick pitches it. Blocked by Pumphrey, who's going to give it to Lockhart. Lockhart, bounce shot down the line, out of bounds at about the mid mid court, the high ball line for up code blue. Ferguson has the ball, it's rolling kind of in her two. Ferguson is going to score the first goal for Code Blue. That's exactly what they needed here. She finds the gap over Lockhart. Lockhart has the ball. Bounce shot towards the center. Blocked by Jensen. Uh, me personally, I was kind of hoping for a quick pitch there to pitch Lockhart. From what I could see, it looks like she kind of got down slowly. So, could have been an opportunity there. However, that ball is sailing out of bounds from Jensen at that nine hole. Lockhart and Cassidy switch wings. Cassidy lets one go for the gap. Blocked by Ferguson. Ferguson's moving up to get it. Got control of it. Gives it to Jensen, who tosses it out of bounds. Excellent call from Jensen. Time was less than three seconds to throw. Excellent call from her. As all the Maryland Minx players converge. Pumphrey throws the ball out of bounds. As Ferguson has the ball. Excuse me, that was Jensen. Jensen cleared Ferguson out and threw the ball from the one. It's blocked by the pump three. Who gives the Lockhart? Blocked by Lockhart. Ball is retrieved by Jensen, the center. She's going to let one go towards the nine hole. Just barely pushed out of bounds by Lockhart. Lockhart with the ball lines up on her one. Gonna whip it towards the gap. It gets under Jensen and through. Lockhart with another goal here. She's the goals, the game's leading scorer with three goals. Followed by Bridget Cassidy at two and Leah Ferguson having the sole goal for Code Blue. 
Michael Clark will get the ball here. Goes for kind of an 88 here, blocked by Lockhart. She clears out her center. She's throwing it from about the four. It's gonna go for that two, blocked by Clark. Clark moves forward to gets it. Bounce pass to Jensen. And she's gonna go for the three. Great spot selection. It's gonna be blocked by Cassidy. Bounce shot from Cassidy. Blocked by Ferguson. Ferguson has the ball. Gonna like to go with the line shot. Out of bounds at about her high ball line. Looks like from my angle she drifted just a little too far out of bounds. Blockhart with the bouncer gets right through the gap between Jensen and Ferguson. And that's gonna be another goal for the Minks here. Six to one is the score now. Bounce ball from Jensen. Hits Cassidy. Collected by her. Passes it to Pumphrey. Who's going to have Jensen block the ball? Quick pitches it to Pumphrey. Good thought there. Like the idea from Jensen. With five minutes here, Code Blue's looking to get another one on the scoreboard. However, one pops off of Jensen, hits Clark, and then goes in behind her. As Coach Jake, as Coach Jake calls the timeout here with 5:51 on the clock, the current affair is seven to one. So to answer one of the questions in the comments, this is the first tournament that Code Blue has played as a team. Um, as I was mentioning yesterday, it's a combination of Florida and Utah players. So yes, they are a brand new team, and we're excited to see them grow as a team. As Ferguson has the ball here, coming out of the timeout. Pushes the high ball line, like to see it. Showing a controlled aggression. As Pumphrey has the ball, goes with the spin throw here. Blocked by Jensen. Jensen has had a long tournament on this Code Blue team. Playing majority of the games at center and occasionally at right wing. As Cassidy will have the ball. Bounce shot from her. Jensen just a little high on the block. It's going to be an 8-1 game here. And Aaliyah Ferguson is coming out. And Veronica Hyatt's coming in there. Looks like there was just a little separation between the left wing and the center. So I think that's the type of substitution Coach Jenkins is making here to make a correction. No, absolutely. I think you're absolutely right, Miss Carrion. I um I think they'll be a real threat in the future. All these women's teams though, I've played great this tournament, so we'll find out if these teams go to Vancouver, Washington. Or if we'll see this team next time in Westmont, New Jersey. Lockhart will have the ball. Cassie's moving over to the right wing. Bounce ball from her over Hyatt. Recovered by Jensen, who's now the left wing. Hyatt's in the center. Kind of a 22 here from Jensen. I like the lineup here I'm seeing from Code Blue. As ball pops off of Hyatt. Bounces on what looks like to be Clark's, or excuse me, Jensen's side, and that's going to go in. It's going to be a 9-1 game here, 4.46 on the clock. Jensen's going to go with the bounce shot herself, blocked by Pumphrey in the middle. 
pass to Lockhart. Bounce shot from her. Hyatt out of position. It's going to go over Jensen, and that's a goal. It's going to be a 10-1 affair now. Code Blue needs to get a goal here before the Minx do. Otherwise, this game is all over. Blocked by Cassidy. Yes, the Minx realizing this is a 10-1 game. They have the opportunity to make a sub here. Looks like Pumphrey is coming out. And let's identify who they're putting in. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Mikalia Lama is coming in for the Minx. As the game gets back underway here, looks like Lockhart will have the ball from the three. Big bounce shot from her off the top foot of Hyatt, but it goes forward this time. She takes it from the middle. Smooth throw. Out of bounds at about the team, team line for the Minx. A little around four minutes on the clock here. Lockhart rolls to the right. Tries to clear out the wing. Can't do it, so she's going to toss it out of bounds. Minx lost possession there. Good call from Lockhart. Realizing that her teammate could possibly be injured if she went through with the throw. Jensen will take the ball, clears out Hyatt from the middle. Skip shot from her. Popped laterally off the center's feet. Looks like Lama will throw the ball. It's collected by Jensen, handed to Hyatt. Blocked by Cassidy. Thrown by Lockhart, big bouncer. Blocked by Hyatt. She moves forward. Given that Jensen, Jensen needs to get rid of it quickly, and she does. Gonna go for that one hole, great idea. But it's just gonna be blocked out of bounds here. Code Blue is trying to hang on here with 3 minutes and 17 seconds left. Let's see if they can block this shot from Llama. Cross court shot here. Blocked by Clark. Clark's gonna get her chance. Sets up and her nine. Goes for the one. Blocked out of bounds by Llama. As the mix players very excited that the ball went out of bounds. Cassidy rolls to the center. Bouncer. Blocked by Jensen as it goes out of bounds. Code Blue's hanging on right now. We'll have to see the defensive stops from them. Let's see if they can keep the trend going here and get a goal of their own. Jensen with the shot. Pops up. Forward of the center Cassidy. Bounce to Lockhart. Sets up in about a 2-3 region. Blocked by Hyatt. Pops forward. It's rolling backwards. It's rolling backwards. Bad pass from Hyatt. Jensen lost possession. Throws it out of bounds. Looks like Kwama will take the ball here. Gonna go with a line shot. Blocked out of bounds by Jensen. As Megan takes the ball, throws it. Pops up, goes back. Just out, no! It's not what Code Blue's hoping for there, but there was an opportunity. Just not the luck of the draw today. Lockhart takes the ball. Maybe looking to end this game. Skip shot, blocked by Hyatt. Great stop by Code Blue as the ball is ball over. Hyatt trying to find her place. She's on the high ball line right now. She's still on the high ball line. Hyatt stands up, walks backwards, sets. Walked by Hyatt. About an inch, two inches forward. 
missed goal by Jen or missed pass from Hyatt. Jensen saves it though and throws it out of bounds quickly. That's two passes miscommunicated from Hyatt. As Cassidy takes the ball, throws at Hyatt, popped up, Jensen collects. Quick ball from her, goes for that 2 3 again. Blocked forward by Lama. Block from Hyatt. Subtle return here with a minute 20 on the clock. Bouncer from Hyatt. I've seen that twice this game so far. Collected by Cassidy. Spin throw from her. Bouncer. Blocked by Hyatt. Good bouncer defense. Slow roll pass to Jensen. Goes for that two again. And it looks like Llama got control of it. She's going to test Jensen's defense. She secures the block. Rolls it quickly out of bounds. Code Blue going up tempo. As the Minx call her substitution. So we have a double substitution for the Minx. Cassidy and Lockhart are coming out. And it looks like number seven and number nine are coming in. So Rebecca Loveser is coming in and Tori Bounds are coming in. Nine and seven respectfully. So minks are now out of substitutions. Minks still have two timeouts here. It's a 10-1 game, so one more goal from the minks would end it early. Looks like the substitutions are wrapping up here, as looks like our remaining player Wama is going to get the ball here. Jensen's going to take the ball. Hopefully she tries to take advantage of the fact that double substitution happened. Well, looks like that center was ready for it. Looks like that's going to be number nine. Clark with the block. Hyatt with the ball. Pushes the high ball line. It's going to go out of bounds. Very close. 28. Two and a half seconds. One more throw from the Minx from the looks of things. Slow roller blocked by Clark. One more opportunity to get a goal in. Nine seconds left. Find the Minx and I can secure this, just hold the ball. She releases it. And it's blocked. That is going to be the end of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Your women's gold medal winners are going to be the Maryland Minx. Our silver place winners are going to be Code Blue. Absolutely proud of both of these teams. We will be with you soon, ladies and gentlemen, for our awards presentation here at the Ability360 Fitness Center in Phoenix, Arizona. We'll be right back with you, ladies and gentlemen.
And welcome back to Phoenix, Arizona, as we wrap up the Southwest Regional Goalball Tournament with our awards ceremony. Fantastic competition among the 12 teams. And first off, the women's bronze medalist will be the Texas team. Congratulations to them, based out of Austin, Texas. Team members are Libby Doherty, Brittany Breen, Miriam Larson, and Macy Gonzalez, and coached by Paul and Nikki Larson. Congratulations, Texas. And Texas with the bronze medals around their necks, posing for the photos. And got to make sure the coaches get their medals as well. Nikki and Paul Larson and their daughter Miriam. Congratulations to Texas for the women's bronze medal. The silver medalist in the women's division, Code Blue. Code Blue team members, Megan Jensen, Elia Ferguson, Michael Clark, and Veronica Hyatt, coached by Greg Clark and Jake Chikowski. Congratulations, Code Blue, for the silver medal in the women's competition. comes out to get the gold medal in the women's division. The Maryland Minx, team members Michaela Lama, Brianna Pumphrey, Bridget Cassidy, Tori Bound, Siobhan Lockhart, and Rebecca Levasseur, coached by Kelvin Atkinson. Now group photo for the women's teams down on the near goal. Once again, gold medalist Marilyn Minx, silver medalist Code Blue, bronze medalist Texas.
men's medals, third place bronze medalist, Texas Rattlesnakes. Texas Rattlesnakes, third place finishers, Jim Debus, Will Lopez, Zach Arambula, and Dan Tunin. Now the silver medalist, the King Cobras, out of Seattle. King Cobra's lineup is Antonio Rozier, Nathan Purcell, Richard Asu, Daryl Walker, and Dylan Pleasance, coached by Jake Chikowski and Ben Mariano. Congratulations to our silver medalist, the King Cobra's out of Seattle. The Cobras pose for their photos with their silver medals around the necks. The Manacores. Jordan Main, Josh Wellborn, Zach Bueller, coached by Zach's wife, Bailey Bueller, who is carrying their six week old daughter out for the ceremony. Congratulations to Zach and Bailey on becoming parents. They will receive the gold medals for the men's competition.
And one final congratulations to all our medalists here from Phoenix as we sign off for the Southwest Regional Goalball Tournament. We'll see you back here in two weeks' time in Vancouver, Washington for the Northwest Regional. Thanks for tuning in for this weekend full of activity, and we'll see you in two weeks.